Good evening friends and welcome to Fab 5. Today we will be learning about nouns and more specifically about common nouns and proper nouns and the difference between common noun and proper noun. This session will be for class 1 and class 2 students. So let us begin with today's nouns like common nouns and proper noun session. So basically first of all I would like to share with you the difference between common nouns and proper nouns as you are already aware. Noun means names, but the difference is noun has various categories. We are today concentrating on common nouns. Common nouns are things and places or names of things and places which are not specific in nature. For example, city, for example, animals like this. And proper nouns are nouns which have specific names. For example, if common noun is a city, proper noun can be London. If common noun is an animal, proper noun can be dog, like this. Okay, so we have various exercises today. Let us quickly begin with the first question in front of us. It says, underline the common nouns and circle the proper nouns. So we have to underline the common nouns in the sentences and circle the proper nouns. We have five sentences. Let us see. The first one says, Rampurhat is a small village. Over here, Rampurhat is a specific name. So it's a proper noun, okay, which is why we should circle it. Whereas village is a common noun, so we are going to underline village. Next two, Sialda is a busy railway station. So here Sialda is a specific name, so proper noun. Railway station is common noun. Third. Rajat, Kushal and Tapan are friends. Friends is common noun. These are specific names of people, so proper noun. Fourth, Sumi loves to eat ice cream. Ice cream, common noun. Sumi, name of a person, proper noun. Fifth, my father gave me Pater Pachali. So, father, father is a common noun. Pater Pachali specific name of a particular book. So, circle. So, question 1 is complete. Now, we will go to question 2. Fill in the blanks with suitable common nouns or proper nouns given in the bracket. So, here is the bracket. We have some names. Okay, in this, we have some nouns. We have to pick up the nouns which is suitable and place it in this blank. So, first is, he lives in, we have to find the name of a place here I can see the name of a place is Kalimpong it is a hill station so this will be Kalimpong with his with his so we are talking about some relatives in nature let me see what we can find over here parents so I can write parents over here number two the parrot is sitting on a the parrot is sitting on a I can write tree so tree is a common noun. Here Kalimpon was proper noun. And parents common noun. Third, wrote many poems. So we are talking about a poet and we know Rabindranath Tagore is a poet, a renowned poet. So Rabindranath Tagore. I am writing on top because there is less space. Okay. So this is a proper noun. Next fourth, Mount Everest is the highest peak in the, this is proper noun, highest peak in the world. World is common noun. Fifth, I visited a fair. Fair is a common noun last Sunday. This is a proper noun, specific name of a day. So in this way, we complete question number two. Question number three. Tick the common nouns in the following sentences. So, A. Children are playing football. So, children is a common noun. B. We read books in school. So, books is common noun. School is also common noun. C. The woman swept all the dust with the broom. So, here, woman, dust and broom all are common nouns. They are not specific nouns. D. The boy made a toy with mud. Here in this sentence, boy, toy, mud. 
all are common nouns e the teacher opens the book here the teacher and the book both are common noun f health is our wealth so health and wealth both are common noun here so in this way we complete question number 3 and also this page now we will go to the next one so second page question number 4 in the following passage you will meet the proper meet with proper nouns and common nouns find out and mention them in the space given below so we have to mention the proper nouns and the common nouns from this passage and write them down in this table proper noun in this column common noun is in this column so let me first recite the passage the passage starts from here pappu is the name of an elephant he is now living in alipur zoo he has a calf its name is swidi the zoo is a nice place there is a big pool inside the zoo many birds from far away places come to the pool in winter many people from the city come to visit the zoo every day so we have completed the passage now we have to find out the proper noun and common noun one has been done for us so proper noun pappu exactly this is a particular name elephant is a common noun this is a not a specific name what are the other that we can have let's see first we will find out the proper nouns okay so alipur zoo is a proper noun it is a name of a specific zoo so proper noun next sweetie is the name of the calf so that is a proper noun again next is we are talking about winter season so winter is a proper noun okay now uh is there anything left i don't think we have any specific names over here let us concentrate on the common noun part so elephant is a common noun okay calf is another common noun c a l f next we can say zoo okay zoo is common noun don't get confused with the proper noun alipur zoo this is the this alipur zoo is one one word okay this is the name of the zoo and this zoo is a common noun next pool is a common noun then we have uh, over here birds okay birds can be common noun also birds and then many people come from this okay city we have city common noun uh so common noun i can also see i have missed place that is a common noun here people is a common noun i don't have enough space so i am going to draw a line and write the next one which is uh let me see so there is no other common noun so i do not need this line i thought there was others also let me just erase it okay so we have found out all the possible proper nouns and common nouns so the next question question 5 circle the word in each series which is not a proper noun so we have to circle the word which is not proper noun in the next option so a rita rakesh circle shilu here we can see rita rakesh and shilu all are proper nouns because they are names of persons circle is a common noun for children who are learning proper nouns and common noun for the very first time in order to understand or in order to distinguish between proper noun and other nouns generally proper nouns begin with a capital letter meaning the first letter of a proper noun is a capital letter being the name of anything specific okay whereas common noun is generally non specific names hence those are written in small letters meaning the first letter of this of a common noun is small so that is also a clue if you have if you have more than more, more than one words and the question is to find the common noun you can go for the words which begins with the small letter and then determine whether it is a common noun or any other kind of noun 
here as you can see all the proper nouns have beginning with capital letters whereas circle is small letter so we have to circle it hence for the first option a going forward rest of the things also we will follow the same rule b agra city kolkata darjeeling obviously city is not a proper noun then c sanjeev rupam sujoy children children over here is not proper noun d saina player maradona julan player is not proper noun and finally oh no e hut taj mahal red fort victoria memorial hut is a is not a proper noun and f is momita niloy mamtaj adrian mother mother is not a proper noun so question number 5 is also complete now we will go to question number 6 question 6 from the above passage rather below passage because the passage is below over here please uh, identify the words which indicate the name of person places or things so we have a table divided into person places and things so we have to identify these three things over here on this passage i will read the passage just shortly now and then we will find out and write them over in this table so the passage rohan is a little boy he lives in kalingpong he came to kolkata with his parents last year he visited the victoria memorial hall in kolkata he also saw the hogli river he met his friend pritam in kolkata we have completed the passage now we will find out the different kinds of person places and things from this passage so first of all persons what are the name of person i can see rohan first then i can see another one is pritam so these are the two persons in this passage so rohan and pritam next places so places what are the places we found one is kalingpong one is kolkata apart from that we have victoria memorial hall kolkata we have already mentioned then we have hogli river kolkata also we have also mentioned so four first to begin with kalingpong kolkata Victoria Memorial Hall and I'm writing my comma because we do not have much space Hogli River only one is left Hogli River things uh let me see if we have mentioned any kind of thing over here no I don't find any kind of things or things there are no things then in the passage so it will be left blank as it is so question number 6 is also complete question 7 underline the naming words in the following sentences so a we read the book gitanjali a name underlining gitanjali next b the name of my pet cat is kims so kims is naming word c We went to Mumbai last week. Mumbai, naming word. D. Shialda is a railway station. Shialda, naming word. So, question seven is also complete. Now we will go to the next page. We have the next page in front of us, beginning with question number eight. Now, says circle the naming words in the following sentences. So, sentence A. C. Draw mango. Shout. mango b sing listen call potato potato c remember tiger play here tiger d hot cold kolkata small kolkata e raju he she they raju so question 8 is complete now we will move on to question number 9 says Question number nine. Select the proper nouns and common nouns from the help box. This is our help box over here at the bottom, 
and put them in the proper column so we have two columns proper noun common noun we have to find out and write them over here let us quickly begin the proper noun first is shall is a proper noun then delhi then kalidas next is ikbal next is japan so we have completed the proper noun the rest of the things should be common noun for example author then village then book so we completed question number 9 on the previous page now we are on the next page which is so as i was saying this is question number 10 so let us quickly see which is what is this question and uh, it is about classify the nouns and fill in the table one is done for you okay so actually one is not done for us basically we have to do all the things so that was a mistake and i apologize for that uh, so let us begin we have three columns as we can see in the below table name of persons or animals name of places name of things so let us start with the person so first of all i can see over here this is a name anirban bhattacharya mr sharma and lomri whereas places can be kolkata kedarnath and things can be photos tents and torches so let us write them down so as i just mentioned i have actually differentiated or i have segregated uh, the names the person names the places and the things and i have written them down so question number 10 is also complete now we'll move on to question number 11 and which is the last question for today's session we actually have made lot of other pages actually we have a lot of other pages for this worksheet and uh, basically for pronouns and common nouns there are a lot of questions for which for which we have sorry that was proper noun not pronouns so proper nouns or common nouns we have lots of question which is why we cannot prolong our session for a very long time since this is an online session we have divided this entire session into two parts so today at question number 11 we will be ending the first part next part of the video which will be for question number 12 we will share it in part 2 of the session so let us do the last question for today's keep two proper nouns for each common noun okay we have a common noun in the left side we have to write proper nouns any proper nouns for the common nouns okay or the type of common nouns rather so for example we have the first common noun as boy we can write the name of two boys like say jack comma jill then girl so we can write the name of two girls like lucy margaret school school can be any school for example like uh, st agnes don bosco pen pen can be any name like uh, parker pen ink pen next we have indoor games indoor games like we can have carrom and uh, ludo or chess newspaper which you can write any newspaper name for example statesman and telegraph so with that we come to the end of this session because that was the last question as we have already mentioned in today's video i hope you enjoyed this video session as much we did while solving it or while doing it 
and I hope your children benefits by learning the different kinds of proper nouns and common nouns and the way we have distinguished between them. Okay, with that I'll end this video. For parents, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. With that, I'll end this session. Have a great day. Goodbye. Till next time, we'll meet again.